Oh, hit starts. Nice. Just buffering that Zen Rhinos right into the extra machine gun. Great block. Ow. Oh, nice little sweep in there. Oh, no. Back dash. Back dash is not a difficult. Just a way to escape. Oh, wow. Just touched once and just missed the rest Oh, this is going to be big. No, too far. Yeah, empty, empty ducking into court is a great option for a guy who... Oh, he's oh, he tried. He tried. No, he tried Red Perry. Yeah, and a lot of times... I, I don't think it would have been chipped to death. A lot of times... Oh, he did. I'm sorry. A lot of times the, the, the supers, when they start up, they're so fast that once they start up and they're right next to you, you actually can't react to parry. You had to have tried to parry before the super was activated. That's true. So, for example, if chun is right next to you and she does the Hoyo Kusen, you have to hit forward before... Wow, we just got word. Perfect Legend was a worldwide trending topic on Twitter. He was actually ninth on Twitter for about five minutes. That's so awesome. That's the size of the MK community out there, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for, for tuning in, everybody who's watching. Yeah. Oh, I love the, the meaty parry there. Yeah, and I love that, the, and, and just so you guys know, the rose is not even a special thing. It's actually just Dudley's taunt. It is straight up his taunt, and it's just a nice. great meaty tool. Yeah, in fact, you, you can see one of his one of his uses there. He threw it out. Alex actually parried the rose, but Dudley put another attack out at the same time. He would have had to parry twice. Alex wasn't looking for it. Oh, nice parry there. He parried the boost. Great great yeah, Alex has spent a lot of time in the corner here. It's been great corner control. I threw my duck. Again, Stan Ranhouse just bumpered in. Oh, oh that's gonna come! There he goes. He knows how to deal with it. Alright, alright. So if, if you just try to, to jump, that wouldn't have worked. If that had been a little bit earlier, he actually would have grabbed that lead right out of the really? super. Yes, he would have. That's why he did it. Um, yeah. If you, you can jump out of the, uh, out of the stun gun headbutt normally, you're gonna have to jab him or, uh, super him, something invincible like that, or <laughs> something very fast. Okay, and it looks like Amir is back up to go up against Fubar Dust. The last player that we have not seen right now, actually, so far. Oh. Actually, we haven't seen two players. Yeah, I thought it was, it's a 5-on-5, five five, right? Yeah, it's a 5-on-5. Five five. And, and who are the two who we haven't seen? We have Shin up there. Shin? Shin, Shin Chang, yeah. Yeah, Shin Chang, and, uh, I don't see the... Oh, actually, we did get them all up there. Don't forget Sanchez on there. There we go. Yeah. Those, those all right, ones. so Shin Chang is the last one. He's the one player we have not seen yet. Because some people even remember, as far back as, I think it might have been four years ago at EVO, Shin Chang and uh, Amir had uh, one of the craziest first to ten matches that I've ever seen. It went, in the final score was 10-9, and it was like down to the last round, last thing. It was one of the most intense first to ten I've ever seen. Again, you see the usefulness of that rose. Certainly is not very damaging when she doesn't have super. The problem is that her normals are still excellent, and she oftentimes does have super. Wow, oh, he tried oh, to get fancy. No, you can cancel medium punch right into super. Didn't get it. Oh, nice parry. Yeah, he saw it. Stand right out to the uppercut. Trash. Now, Dudley actually does sometimes have a hard time jumping at Chun Li. If Chun Li's aware of it, if the mirror is not going to walk under him, you can usually use back fears casual in the lightning kick. And that actually causes a lot of trouble for Dudley on jump. Yeah, Chun Li's normals uh, deal really well with, with Dudley's. But unfortunately for. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, didn't quite get it. oh, no punish! Oh, well, Amir's reaction's a little slow. No, he almost had it. Uh, Amir seems to be a little rusty right now here on uh, third uh, that's not That's not to be too surprising. Um, out in Simi Valley, California at Dungeon Arcade, uh, they are keeping the game alive. Well, uh, but the thing is, but the thing is that uh, people just outside of that don't really play it that much anymore. Hopefully this will bring a revival of the game. Right, right. Nice combo right there. It's overhead, but not into super. His mix ups in the corner have been great. That's way too slow. Ouch. And I'm here going back. I mean, there was uh, someone, uh, they, someone actually uh, captured a picture of Tony's hitbox off of that back fierce. And that back fierce is just like the biggest giant hitbox I've ever seen. Dude. Oh, wow, oh, I love yeah. this. Look, look at the control of space. He's got such an annoying range for Dudley, but puts himself in the corner. Right. I mean, third strike probably is most important. He's probably most important here. game. Oh! Most important game in terms of that fixed 
little perfect distancing from the locking back and forth. Yeah, footsies are extremely important in this game. Yeah, so I mean, at low levels when you're watching, it just looks like they're kind of walking back and forth, but at high levels when you can really appreciate that art of footsie and distancing, it's so impressive. And I like the mirror's use of that stand jab as anti-air. Not only is it quick and will beat out a lot of slower jump attacks, but if Fubar Duck actually parries it out of the air, she recovers the time. Oh, here we go. Oh. Again. And Amir missed a couple of hit confirms that game, but ended up taking the last one. Yeah, okay, this game it is. So there are a couple things that are, that are extremely important about this game that you need to know. Both these are extremely important. Being able to hit confirm is extremely important. And being able to mix up well and know what your opponent is doing are right. extremely important in this game. And also, even just, I mean, like I was saying before, when you knock someone down and go for a medium pressure, you have to have a, a high hitting the hit confirm and a low hitting hit confirm into your super just so you can uh, keep them guessing on the parries. That's very important, it's just mixing things up. I mean, that's the reason why 12 is actually considered a low tier character because he has none that you can hit confirm off of the mid. You can only have a low hit confirm if that goes into super easily. I'm pretty sure. Uh, standing beating kick. It's, but it's a little bit oh, harder to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so he's gone to... He's gone to Chun. And that's Amir on the right. Oh, uh, no. And we're gonna see... Oh, he missed the parry! Forgot the timing, I guess. Wow, what a comeback. I love the mount the crutch and getting punch there. Wow, again, a couple of great whip punches there by Fubar Doug. Yeah. Owner of Arcade UFO, you can see it, AUFO, Fubar Doug, in Austin, Texas. Wow, Amir just walking right up the throw. Once again, chilling with an extremely far carrot throw. Oh, wow. Oh, tried to whip punish. Again, you see how important this is. Now he's caught in the corner. You don't want to be there against Chun, she just has too many good mix ups. She can control space too well in the mid-screen too well. No hit confirm. There it is. Not going to be able to kill, but goes for mix up. And, and if you're wondering, this is uh, indeed arcade perfect, you know, even on the timing. In the arcade, it was, the game was a little bit slower than on console, which meant that on console, hit confirming was a little bit harder. In this game, we're going back to how the arcade was. Uh, and so that, that, that hit confirm, you have just a little bit more time to do it, but any fraction of a tiny second for hit confirming is important. Right. There was even a few little small bugs that were an anniversary edition that a lot of people may not have even been aware of right. that have been fixed in this Ooh. version. He picked up the crouching medium punch, crouching strong, now caught in the corner. Oh, oh here we go! And he, he's going to get super if he gets another one. And he hit him oh, no! Didn't confirm off of that low forward. That can be canceled. Super oh, I love it. Great reaction. Yeah, she's one of the few characters with an air throw in this game. Oh, wow. Takes it with the stand fierce for the face. And Amir takes two to one. That was a great set. And, uh... Right? We're trying to decide who's stepping off, oh, yeah. it looks like. And it looks like Fubar Duck wants to stay on. Next in the title, Fubar Duck versus Shen! <laughs> That's correct. Uh... Ben Tragic Kirtan just pointed out on stage that this is a rivalry, a Texas rivalry. Uh, they've played this a few times, I can, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> Let's fight like gentle airs. Right. Oh, no sneeze. Didn't come. Alright. So yeah, Shin going with Ken. Alright, the first Ken we've seen. Ken, another very good character. Not quite at the top where uh, Chun Li and, and Yun are. But just right under the. Yeah, I mean, actually. Uh, been going down a little bit uh, as people have played the game in Japan. The tiers have changed a little bit in the last few years. The U.S. stopped taking the game too seriously. That's right. I, I, characters like Makoto and, and Yang actually, right? Actually, Yang and, no, Yang actually has gone back down a little bit. Really? Yeah, I, I was surprised <laughs> to find that as well. Wow. All right, nice play for Boomer Duck. Too late. Too late. And he's not even going to bother. It's a very fast super. Yeah, yeah. Shippu is so useful because it links off of low strongs, stand strongs, strongs. Yep. off the target chain, off crouching medium kick, off, off the low, overhead. Yep. Off low shorts and low jabs. It's a great super. Yeah, super effective. Oh, a nice high block. Oh, did you see him wow, just stand there and just made him into trying something? And Shin's got to watch out. He's very close to that stun. This, this game, you can't see stun bar. Oh, wow. Wake up. He had trouble trying. Just do it. Oh, there it is. Almost a trivial stun, even if he had good stun track. And, and one cool thing about this game that I know a lot of people 
dislike and dislike about SF4 is that you have to commit to Dragon Punches. If your Dragon Punch is blocked, you're screwed. Sorry. <laughs> There's no focusing out. Yeah, no FADs on your Dragon Punch. Not only that, but, you know, even just performing a wake up Dragon Punch isn't as easy. The wake up, the break, I think it was a two frame reversal. It's a much smaller one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nicely nice. done. Like I said, that, he, that ducking cancel into Coach Ball, a great anti air option. Needs to punish that, yep. Can do a little bit better, but didn't get it. Just wanted to make sure. Oh. Wow, really? It's giving it's perfect pierce. Nice. Not even a target chain. Oh, look at him! Using that third strike knowledge right there. Warp top. I mean, dashing uh, over them doesn't work on every character. It only works with certain characters. Uh, and, like, only certain characters can corpse hop over certain other characters. Right. It's, like, all really specific. That's right. This game is full. Uh, after having played this game for a dozen years, you know, people have figured out all sorts of very, you know, Let's intricate fight. little like, <laughs> character things. Right. Figured out how to incorporate uh, them into the game. Alright, Ken now has Dudley in the corner. Where that caught there. I'm sorry, the other way. Alright. Alright, big punish fine. You can take him out. And there it is. Nice. And the uh, damage means, reduction in this game works very differently. Yeah, it does. Uh, the more specials you put at the start, the more uh, damage is reduced. It's not like in SF4 where it's just about the number of hits. This one, if you put a special in, you're going to do a lot less damage afterwards. Trying to get in there. Nice, Jaden saw the punishing that throw with. Wow, again, EX Dragon Punch. I mean, if you're going to wake up with Dragon Punch, you might as well be committed to it. Right. And this game that does have the quick rise, so there are two different timings that the character can get up on. And, and also in this game, you can quick rise uh, after a throw, unlike in Street Fighter 4. Right. Oh, wow. Watch out. She so many right options. in there. There are really so many options to keep track of at all times. Chip up again. Now, you can actually uh, perform a red parry. If it's a true block string, you can parry the move in the middle with a red parry, but the window for a red parry is so much smaller. And you have to go to neutral first. Right. Which makes it pretty difficult. And that's why there's actually no absolute guard in this game either. If you start blocking a combo and let go of that, you will start getting hit. Right. The only Street Fighter game that has that. That's true. And it's, it's right, it's because of the red carry. So wow, backswing blow, unlike, uh, it's definitely a much better move in this game than it is in uh, Street Fighter 4. Th especially thanks to its ability to be super canceled like that. Right. And a lot of times when you perform the backswing blow, you can actually see the opponent whip the throw and you can hit confirm it just based on what your opponent's reaction is. Oh yeah. So it's tied up one to one here. RKU of Bluebird up and Shin Chang, who also plays that RKU of Wow, great job. <laughs>